changes we had to share. I phoned my mate, Terry. He was surprised to hear from us, like, you know, because he didn't know I'd gone over the wall. Anyway, I got him to go round to my auntie Vi's, you know, it's where I was staying prior to my arrest. And he got it out my gear and posted it to us. You take some chances, you do, Mox. Why? This bloke, Terry, knows where you are. And your auntie Vi, and if she's a blabber... I'm not a complete fool, you know. I had it sent post-restaurant. I uh, don't need to renew and Nev. It's got a couple of years to go on it. Well, that's not the point, though, is it, Mox? You've still got two years to run on... on your sentence. And there's people out looking for you. You're on wanted notices and computers. And you're wanting to chance your arm on passport control. You'll be all right. I mean, it's only a local airport up here, isn't it? I mean, it's not Heathrow with dope dealers and diamond smugglers and that. Just a couple of dozy Geordies. Hey, I'll scud you, Moxie. I heard that. Oh, aye. Do you know what happened to my cousin Paul? What? He was picked up in Newcastle Airport. They dragged him outside, give him a right going over. And he's just an ordinary bloke with his three kids on his way to Majorca with a, a load of camping gear. Oh, yeah. What happened then? Couldn't he afford the VAT on his tent? No, oh, Paul's divorced, right? And whenever they see a single parent gun through with kids, they always check them out in case they're doing a runner. What's that got to do with me? Well... I'm just saying that they're more vigilant than what you take them for. Oh, we're playing this game or we're not, man. Eh? N never. It's all... Punk! Oh, right. Right, now, get your finger out up. You haven't put a ball yet. I've just got too used to pool tables, mate, man. This table seems immense. Are we, uh... Are we to understand that you're... that you're back to playing Moxie now, then, are we? I reckon so, yeah. Hey, well, everyone who just got used to calling Brendan. All right. Oh, what's your point, then? Ah, oh, it's jumping, why not? Be sangry at the night, though. Well, eh? Yeah. Got the tickets. Right. Is it great? No, uh, have you got dig sorted out? Eh? Yeah? Because I'm not keeping any dirty, filthy pence. You only with cockroaches crawl all on me feet, mate. No self respecting cockroach again near your feet, though. <laughs> yes. The Marama Hotel. Sounds good enough. <laughs> what an amazing coincidence, I. Eh? What? Yeah. Isn't it, mate? Staying at the Marama Hotel on our first night in Goza. Oh, on the second night, we transferred to our luxury villa. It was nestled high in the hills, far above the glistening briny of a Boston. It was a slip at £120 a week, mate. I had a maid who did your ironing. Buddy, man, nobody gives a toss, man. Just take your shop, man. Time to leave. Half past three, check in, right? Size. <laughs> Typical. How come they only make a club of these days to fit Michael Jackson? We've got the Italian paratrooper in your size. <laughs> Can't be serious. Who's ever heard of an Italian paratrooper? Yeah, Horace. Where are you on that? Ah, 
The amazing band of designer swagman. You're feeling 25 notes for the label before you start. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, in my bay, you see, your label's a bit of an entree, isn't it? I mean, when he walks into the old racket club, I expect you to have an alligator on your left hip. I don't think it's my bay, in point of fact, is it? <laughs> I think it's more Fangarola, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, we'll be socialising in my bay, won't we? Because you don't get your cheap jet save tours there, mate, or your football hooligans. See, Marbella, it's your international playground for the rich and famous. Nah, not my sort, that type. Underneath their glittering exterior, they just leave shallow, meaningless lives. Shallow relationships are do for me, Barry. No one ever drowned in shallow water. You will if anyone will, Wayne. Your old lifestyle lends a new depth of meaning to the word shallow. <sighs> Never out of fashion, are they, Bermudis? Oh, yes. Magnum P.I., is it? Oh, Pick up, Buzz. Yeah. I hope that Hotel Mirama's got a lift. Hey, why? You'll never get up the stairs in him, will you? Well, I must admit, they don't give me much freedom of expression, do they? I'm What the heck? I'll get them back on the road a bit quicker, if I were you. I don't think I could do anything quick in these, mate. <laughs> Box. Huh? Oh, there's a very big coming, yeah. It's amazing what our entry into the European community has done, isn't it, eh? Who'd have thought, eh? You can now buy Fab Italian and Dorna here in Newcastle. Hey, hey, it works both ways, you know. Apparently, you can all buy peace pudding in Milan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very reasonable, actually, this was. Uh, have a guess how much you've got. Go on, have a guess. Oh, I'm not sure, buddy. Let's have a look. Do you want to roll? 12. Sure. Nah, it looks pricey. On the other hand, it's 50% man-made fibres. That's uh, £42.99. Well, spot on. Yeah. How'd you guess? Have you seen that programme? The price is right. Yeah. Nev's a champion, man. Oh. Yes, thanks, mate. Charles, I'm in dry, eh, Max? Not so bloody dry, mate. Madison, come to Airport Information. Madison, to Airport Information. Yeah, look, get us a bottle of scotch, will you? Mount if they've got it, I've got a gun for it. Hope it's not the band. Oh, I'll be no serious man, you know. He's someone they fears as chuck with a ticket to the boons. It's very interesting to do this, is it? Listen to this. It says here, one of the most beautiful roads in all the world is the road between Marbella and Seville, incorporating the ancient town of Ronda. Oh, I'll give it a try. It's an interesting oracle. And it says, an absolute must is the Alhambra at Granada. He's got a point, Lee. It's funny when you think about it. You know, all them places he's talking about. Granada, Alhambra, the Ritz, Plaza, Coliseum. But all them got my English picture house. What's the problem, Ted? There's been a hiccup. <laughs> you don't mean we're not going. We're not going to deal. Probably the end of the week. Probably. Well, it's not a very definite word, probably. Well, it's as definite as that can be, Neville, isn't it? You mean I've got to go through all this again? Yeah. Now, where does that leave us, Dennis? Oh, where would all of us leave all up here, that? Oh, shit, creek in a ball where I can do. Look, I'm sorry, Dennis, but due to the Spanish immigration laws, there is just no way at the moment that I could take a bunch of foreign workers down there. No, wait a minute, Ollie. You put your brief under this at least three weeks ago. You should have told you all that then, man. Well, you did, Dennis. A couple of days later, I had it all fixed up. I'd arranged backhanders with a couple of key pedros down there. But at the last minute, they're trying to brace me and cop me for a wee bit extra. And to my mind, it's just a wee bit too much. So I told them to stuff it. Mr. 
Look, I've got a bunch of lunatics down there. They're all fired up, they've packed their bags, they've sorted things out with their families, and if you don't come through this Look, time... ask them over tomorrow night, my house, my hospitality. That'll soften them up for you. By that time, I should have sorted something out. Well, I hope so, for your sake. What time shall I bring them? Eh, uh, oh, make it about ten. I mean, feed them first. Anyway, that's the situation. <laughs> well, I suppose it's at least hospitable of him, isn't it? Hospitable? Hospitable, my horse. Nobody hospitable if he's going to do what, is it? Eh? Hospitable. I'll tell you something. It's going to take more than a couple of drinks and a bloody sausage stuck on the end of a toothpick to pass it by me, would all this? It is, Cliff. What? Out at Doris Hallway? Right. Special, is it? Bit of a short place, apparently. No expense spared. I'll be a bit dressy then, I suppose. Oh, yeah, Mops. You'll have to wear your other pair of coats, will you? Uh-huh. Yeah, how are we getting back to town, Dennis? Bally's late on some transport. Should be here any minute, I should imagine. Yeah, do we take the wife tomorrow night or what? Uh, I don't know, I never said. I know Brendan would love to see his place. Well, I suppose so, but you know, Ali manages our business, isn't he? Best keep the wives out of the picture. Right, come on then. Ah, oh, of course. The limo's arrived, hasn't it? Look, we needed something big enough to take all the cases, didn't we? But. Listen, you know you wanted me and Debs to go to Spain. Uh huh. Well, it could work out just nice. I'm doing some time off and Mrs. Adams is back on Monday. So if you don't go to the weekend, we can all fly out together. Aye. I mean, I'd much prefer that. I hate flying on my own. Well, I, I just thought if I went out there first, I would see the lay of the land, like. See, I, I didn't want to arrive out there with you and Debs and, and find we're stuck in some horrible naff accommodation. Well, if we are, I'll still find something better, pet. You can leave that to me while you get on with your work. Mm. Well, what's the matter? Well, I, I think it'd be better if it was just the lads at first. I mean, it is a job, you know, and I didn't want Ali to think we're treating it like a family holiday. I thought the reason you suggested it, Neville, was so your family could have a holiday. Oh, definitely, I. Well, look, I'll, I'll assess the situation tomorrow night at Ali's. Why, well, what's happening tomorrow night? Oh, he's invited us over for drinks. Really? Oh, I must say I'm dying to see his house. Oh, no, that's, that's definitely just the lads. Oh, is it? Definitely. I, I, I checked with Dennis. Asked him specifically. Thank you. Can I help you, sir? Yes, yeah, Christine Chadwick here, please. Can I say who it is, please? Dennis Patterson. Is a Mr. Patterson here, Mrs. Chadwick? with it. I couldn't bear the thought not seeing you for three weeks. So I put the lads on the plane. I said, Ali, stuff the job. Who's on strike? Air traffic control or the baggage handlers? Well, it's a little bit complicated to explain, but the good news is I'll take you out for a meal tonight. Eh? The bad news is I'm here till nine o'clock. I can pick up a fight, must. Okay. Where shall we go? Well, uh, I'll find out what the lads are doing, and then I'll book a table. About uh, 25 miles away. No, but Mr. Patterson must have phoned him put our names down. Is that Dennis Patterson? That's him. Did Dennis ring? Uh, we also happen to be colleagues at Ali Fraser. You know, who owns this place. Colleagues? Uh, yes. 
We work for him, mate. Same as you. Is uh, one of you bomber? Oh, that's me, my dear. That's table for five. Oh. Right. Would you just sign here, then, please? What sort of work do you do for Mr. Fraser? We're his legal advisors. Been slept in. I was worried sick. Ah. <laughs> there he is, the stop. We just got to go on now. It's sure a bit, isn't it? <laughs> we lost. I'll tell you, Nick. Yeah? Look, never mind about me. No one told me all about you, look, last night. You're not telling me back in about five minutes. Oh, mate. come, dude, man. They buddy got arrested. Uh, the couple was a bit peeved about having a table full of Bacardi and Coke down his best shirt, but uh, he's no cause for all the zinc. 
What do you have to go and pick a fight with a copper for? We didn't pick a fight with a copper at all. We had to create a diversion so Moxie could piss off. Where's Moxie now, like? He's gone. Gone? Where? Where? I don't know where. I don't know. You, uh, when you last night, he was sitting on the doorstep, so I let him in. We went to Doss. Uh, and then I got up this morning, and there he was, gone. Yeah, another one of his dawn departures. Well, I suppose we should be used to it by now. He'd have to thank you, note for my mother, which I thought was very civil. Me, he flew out his life, but I didn't suppose he'd be open that time in the morning. Uh, well, maybe it's for the best. He might have made him realise what a precarious position he's in. You might have done him a favour. True. Didn't do me any. I want to be right up that boiler's tubes. Mmm. Not that last dumpling. Here, my guess. Ah, oh, right. Mmm. Oh. Lovely and I. Not too greasy. Ah, right. and this spicy beef is well tasty, Barry. You ordered well, son. Thank you, man. I'm very into Oriental cuisine, you see, Wayne. Mm. Just outside Wolverhampton, there is the most wonderful place. A Shanghai rendezvous, it's called. Oh, it's quite positive, mate. It's a great favourite of ours, wasn't mine, actually. But that is Setsuan cuisine. A bit spicier than Cantonese, you see. Mind you, I suppose, uh, I suppose Setsuan's reached up here yet, though, is it? <laughs> Wolverhampton 1, Newcastle 0. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a really good idea, this one, because. We won't be getting much Chinese to go back to Spania, will we? Huh. If we ever get there, mate, eh? Uh, many of English food, mine, though. When I was me or out there, it was probably shepherd's pie and fish and chips, huh? Yeah. Hey, how things going with you and your razor? Well, it's a bit hard to tell from this distance. So, uh, Neville said, uh, why don't I bring her out? Like, you know, might make all the difference, he said. Watch out, watch out. Right, you know what Neville's doing? Neville's promised Brenda a free trip, right? So he's lobbying all the lads to get their old ladies out there so he don't feel like the odd man out. Hmm. I'm thinking about it, though. The change of scene might do the chick with ice. <laughs> Not with them ludicrous Bermudas you bought, mate. Oh, no, they look quite nice to me, Lexa Brown. Oh. Um, two more lagers, two more lagers, please, squire. Oh. Here, wh wh why don't you bring Christa out? You don't see much of her recently, have you? She's, uh, she's in Germany, isn't she? Well, don't stop her flying out, does it? Oh, she wouldn't like it, man. She wouldn't like it. Why not, mate? I mean, I can imagine why I've to, not wanted to join us in Dusseldorf when we're working out there. But, I mean, Spain's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Oh. And if I were there with other couples, like, like, uh, uh Jan, Christa and Neville and Brenda, I might see things in a different light. What do you think, Wayne? Look, stop asking me what I think, will you, Barry? Ever since I've known you, you've asked my advice on everything about love, sex and marriage. Yeah, well, yeah, well it's, it's surprising, isn't it? I mean, I don't profess to be an expert in that department. <laughs> I mean, you've really forgotten more about women than I've got to learn. Yeah, well, I know nothing about wives, do I? Otherwise, mine wouldn't have left me. Told no one. Told your Hazel. Did you? She never let on. That's why I told her, Barry. I told Brenda as well a couple of nights ago. I didn't want to tell the lads because, I don't know, probably my image. I just thought, what's the point? You can do me a favour. Tell the lads, but tell them I don't want to talk about it, all right? Right, right. Do you think it was something to do with all your fanatics? Barry, <coughs> did you hear me? It's the end of the conversation. Closed book. You're the prince of trivia. You think of something to talk about. Um, do you want that last prawn ball? <laughs> And 
This is where I like to keep myself in shape. Oh, busted. Oh, look at this. <laughs> you work out every day, Ali? Uh, I like to, yes. Uh, two or three times a week, I've got this wee Danish bit comes in, gives me a workout, and it soon gets the kinks out, I can tell you. <laughs> Mr. Fries, how does this contraption work, actually? Oh, uh, well, Barry, you just start it on uh, the start button here, and then you just set it to whatever speed that you like. Oh, that's, oh, that's busting this, isn't it? It's like sort of jogging without ever leaving the house. Very therapeutic, I imagine. Yeah, right. And then you've got your sauna through here, and then your swimming pool right out the back. Great. Yeah. What a swimming pool up here. Be about as much good as a chocolate fire, God. Oh, I like to do 20 lengths a day, whatever the weather. Is this where you get your suntan, Ali? Aha, uh -huh, yes, yes, but of course you lads will be getting a load of that when we go over to Spain. So come on, let's move out of here, let's freshen up our drinks. Come on, boys. Pretty do you, Ross! Tell me, this is Christine Chadwick. This is Vicky. Uh, yes, it was a long time, though. Where was it? I used to have my hair done at Maison Andre, and you were the manicurist. Yeah, that's right. You're looking lovely, pet. Come on through. We're just in here. Right. Dog. So, yeah, there was a wee spot of bother at the club last night, does it? Oh, just some young cracker jack. Maybe you know, I like with drinking them. He's brought the tort, I see. What do you know, then? See now. I reckon she's the reason he didn't come home last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Vicky. 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 Yeah, he doesn't know how to pick him, does he? How oh, did he say? He has a terrible punch on for the upmarket line, isn't he? Yeah, well, he didn't tell me he was bringing one of them to this do. Oh, Christine. How is it, Chris? I don't really mind, Mr. Fraser. Oh, come on, Ali, love, Ali. What is all this, Mr. Fraser? Come on, let's get a lemonade down here. Lovely. How are you, then, eh? Very well. It's been a wee while, eh? Can I have a word with you, Dennis? Yeah? You brought the lass along? Oh, well, you can say... So? Them, the well, last night you said it was just the lads. You said specifically, no wives. Well, she's not my wife. Oh, very funny, Dennis. I could have brought Brenda along. She wanted to come, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sorry, mate. I just forgot, you know. Well, what's she going to say when she hears there was women here? Well, ring her up, tell her to get a cab, eh? Where's she going to get a babysitter this time of night? Oh, never mind. Didn't give me a hard time. And everybody's on my back, man. Just give us a night off, will you? Hey, hey, let me do that, love. Oh, thanks. I'm a bit tearing Neil. Yeah. My name's Wayne. Vicky. You, uh, you going to Spain then, Vicky? Oh, yeah, we've uh, just got back, actually. It's like my second home, really. Yeah. Get lots of tourists there, do you? Well, in, in the season it's packed, but where we are, we don't get, like, well, the common ones, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, you won't be seeing much of me then, will you, eh? Didn't mean that. <laughs> Very well, now that we're all gathered, I'd like just to say a few words. Uh, why don't I show you the house, Chris? Hmm. All right. Right. I'm sorry that you lads have been farted around a bit, but uh, these things happen. Unexpected contingencies, however, I'm very, very pleased to say that everything has now been sorted out and you fly out there on Saturday. Whoa, oh, is that from here or from Heathrow? Uh, that is from here, Dennis. Uh, Saturday, 13.45. Yeah. 
They don't do scheduled flights from here on Saturday. Ah, well, it's not a scheduled flight as such, Dennis. It's more what you might say our own luxury personal charter. What? My own yeah. plane? Oh, I'm up for that. Eh? The Brickley S special. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't quite gone that far, though. No, no, no. No, it's a pal of mine's got a wee company. He's taking a tour down there, and he very, very happily happens to have some spare seats. Oh, Christ. Economy measures are already. I'm eating an about this oh, No, 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 no. There's uh, more to it than that, if you'll just bear me out, eyes. Now, officially, you lads are not going out there to work. Because, as you know, I could not come across with the work permits. And I want you out there because I trust the British working man. Very patriotic. I think if one is in a position to help the working man at the present moment in time, then one should do it. I'm also not particularly keen on my Spanish workers because when I'm out there, it's mañana, mañana, and when I'm not out there, it's siesta, siesta. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, uh, they, they do tend to indolence, don't they, the uh, average Spaniard? Mind you, now that they've joined the European community, you might find that there's a marked difference in their, you know, in their, in their attitude. You might find that they... Uh, sort of All I am saying, Barry, is that officially we are going there as holidaymakers and arriving in a chartered flight will help to reinforce that impression. Now, do you get my drift? Oh, aye, aye, aye. So it's buckets and spades and water wings is the order of the day, isn't That's it? right, and you turn up for work in your swimming cosy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now, you give it a few pesetas for your walking around money and your official money will be paid as per usual, as per Dennis, as per back here. Are oh, still staying at the Hotel Miramar? Ah, well, unhappily, Dennis, they were unable to take you. Oh, 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 it's a oh, fit up with barrack room conditions, right? In Jarvis, you're living like derelicts, man. It's all been taken care of, Dennis. You will be staying in the same hotel as the rest of the holidaymakers. A very, very charming spot and only a stone's throw from the beach. Oh, aye. Well, the Spaniards is famous for how far they can hold your stone, aren't they? Eh? And they're also famous for how bad they can lay a brick, and that is why we are setting off the sunnier climb. So until then, my dear friends, hasta la vista and vayas con dios, mi amigos. amigos. Okay, who's for a game of pool? Oh, I'm up for that, Lee. Aye, I'll have a gin. Shall we take him on, Mr. Fraser? Oh, Ali Bomber, call me Alistair. Nev, you and me take the winners, don't I? Hang on a minute, Win. Look at your bum. Yeah? Listen, if it's a charter fleet, it'll not be that expensive, will it? We could probably afford to take the waves. Do you fancy taking yours? Oh, I don't know, Neville. She's got her hands tied looking after all our kids. Uh, besides, Bomber rather fancies getting amongst those senoritas. Good evening, my friend. Can I get you a drink, mon amigo? Oh, anything. <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Right. you know, I could grow accustomed to evenings like this, Neville. Isla and I have often talked about putting in a bar in our room downstairs. The room, if you remember, you know, right by the bay. I mean, nothing as grand as this, of course, but just something that's big enough for me to get behind. Hang on. Hey, listen. Have you had a word with Hazel yet about going to Spain? Yes, yes, I, I have, actually. Um, she seems quite keen, but uh, she's in a position of great responsibility, Neville. I mean, she can't just drop everything in her job like that and come straight out, you know. No, no, but it's still a possibility, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I think so, yeah. Well, I thought I'd best get out there myself and see the lie of the land, you know. What about you, Wayne? What about Wayne what? Any chance of you asking Crystal to spin? Haven't you told him yet? No, I haven't actually. No, uh, I haven't had time. I've only seen sight in the sand and left since I last come flat. What's this? Well, now's your chance, eh? Neville, this may come as a bit of a shock to you, mate. How long have you known Dennis, then? Oh, about a year. Off and on. When I was doing your nails, weren't you going through a divorce? <laughs> Why? Was I biting them a lot? No, I just thought you'd mentioned it, that's all. It's all behind me now. Dennis is divorced, isn't he? Yeah. Is Ali? Well, not technically. She wouldn't hear of it. She's a staunch Catholic, you know. She's not going to give up the money either. Does that bother you? Oh, no. I mean, marriage is just a bit of paper these days, isn't it? Perhaps. Well, listen, it's been lovely talking to your pet after all this time. You know, you should come out to Spain. We'll have a good laugh out there. And I get really bored when he's on the golf course all day. Well, anyway, I'll have to go. See you later. What a jammy one to us there, Bomber. All right, all right. Two league dears. We're making the best of 17. Rack him up. You rack him and I'll smack him. I'm off, Ali. I'm going to meet Karen down the club. Ah, lovely. OK. See you later, lads. Aye, right, throw. 
Baby boiler. Let's face it, he's had it coming to him, hasn't he? Yeah, I think he knows that, though. He never leaves it alone, does he? He must have slept with half a Dusseldorf before he met Krista. Yeah, I think the experience may have changed him, actually, now, right? Had it to the fact that he's been around people like you and me, he's bound to have a stabilising influence, isn't he? I don't think I've got any influence on Wayne. I think he thinks I'm dull. No. Mature would be my word for it, actually, then. Going down to Cannibals. It's his club that Ali owns. Yeah, that's right. We were all there last night. Well, do you want to come down tonight? I could leave your name at the door. Do you mean me or all of us? Well, I like to always do everything as a group. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll do loads of things on my own. Yeah. Mind you, it might be a bit off tonight, eh? Because I am Ali's guest, aren't I? Oh, well, suit yourself. Maybe we could leave it till Spain, eh? Leave what? A bit of dancing or something. Well, we'll have to see about that, won't we? Yeah. That's me. Lovely motor school. I didn't mean the car. What do you think I should do about Christine, Norma? I'm amazed you've even asked her. No, no, she brought it up, actually. Said she had some holiday due. She'd love to come. Well, I agreed at the time. Had a few, like, you know. So I was feeling fairly mellow. I don't know what you're so worried about. She's a lovely lass. She fancies going to Spain with you. I think you should be flattered. Oh, no, no, it's not that. It's just, well, in the cold late of the day, I'm not so sure it's such a good idea, you know? What will Ali be in there? All the lads. It's not the lads that's giving you cold feet. It's you. Who do you mean? You don't just build walls at work, Dennis. You build them round yourself. You're scared of facing your own feelings. Well, my track record's not too good in that department, is it? Oh, get away. Take her with you, man. You've been sitting on the fence for ages with this, lass. Maybe this'll force the issue. What's the worst that could happen? You could find you're not compatible. On the other hand, you could have a bloody good time. And you should have a bit of fun. You should write one of those agony columns, you, you know, Norma. I care about you, Matt. I worry myself sick sometimes about what's happening to you. Anyway, Frank's due back from the Gulf in two months' oh, time. Oh, I see, I aye. want my house to myself. Aye. Oh, go on, get that. It's probably for you anyway. Hello? Hello? Hello, Moxie? Yeah. Where are you? Long way from you, mate. There's no need to be so evasive, man. I haven't put a tap on the phone yet, you know. Did, did the Spanish number come up? Yeah, aye, we're leaving on Saturday. Oh, mm -hmm. Hang on. Cheers, Dan. So, the job's on, apparently. Passport's not easy. I mean, we're talking about real money. Yeah, don't worry about that. Got to be put aside, eh? You know, those false ID papers you got us? Yeah. Yeah, well, I won't be needing them where I'm going. Do you consider part exchange? Check-in time's no later than 12.15. Right. 
Reservations have been made for the wives who are going, but you'll pick those up at the airport. Right, yes, for yes. which retribution will be made in due course to yours truly. Yeah, well, I didn't expect to be hard no freebies, like. Hey, I mean? Dennis. Pamela tells me there's only six tickets. Well, one of the lads had to drop out. Yeah, well, that leaves you short-handed, doesn't it? That's all right. No, it is not all right. I want this job done in three weeks, and then you're back in that plane. I'm already worried about waves and wanes going out there. Well, that won't affect the work. Of course it will. You know what it's like. I thought you'd be back at six o'clock. I thought you are coming back to take me snorkeling. I guarantee the job will be done, all right? Take somebody else make up the numbers. Right, if you insist. I'll go and own a job centre, then, eh? Oh, no, no, Dennis, Dennis. Dennis. Don't be daft. No, 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 no. I know a young lad. He's in your trade. Very good worker. And I know that he's skint because he's lost a wee fortune in one of my casinos. Well, as long as you can graft. Sure he can. Right, me and the lads were having a farewell drink down to Portland tonight. Eight o'clock. Tell them to be there. Lovely. You can meet the lads socially. Okay. Oh, and Dennis. Don't bring them back to cannibals afterwards, will you? Here you go, lads. Right, look. After all the delays, it looks like we'll have to spin tomorrow, so let's have a monumental piss up. Well, hang on, hang on. Should we not wait till the women get here? Huh? I think Bren will be on her way of doing this shit. Look, I hope you're not going to make her life a misery out there, Rose. Oh, man, I'm arse. Well, I tell I you what, she'll not be on her own because I'm bringing Christine with me. Are you? It's my old bugger, Paris. Fantastic. That's oh, great, man. Get it, get it straight straight down there. Oh, yeah, top of the bill, that jump in. This new job I drags his tote long will be able to start a formation dance team. Look, as I promise you, tonight is an all meal evening, right? Of alcoholic abuse. We're going to have an evening celebration and depravity. We could have chosen something better than this man. Price, can we? Well, we're only starting off here, man, aren't we? Meeting this other lad, then we're going to meet. We ain't the disco. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, not, not if I was and Bob get on the bloody snooker table. We won't be here till closing time. Oh, no fear. Bob wants to go dance. Ah, well, we're not going to cannibals. That's fine by me. I hate those small friends in disco. <laughs> Whatever happened to the pallet, eh? The big band. The sounds of saxophones echoing through the rafters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I once took tap dancing lessons in that. You did? Why? Why? Well, well, why? 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 Well, I've seen all those wonderful films. If Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, Donald O'Connor, wonderful dancers played part like that. <laughs> Love, I wanted to emulate them. And anyway, me auntie was a teacher, so I got the rebate on the lessons. Come on, then. Do you bit? Oh, oh, yeah, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Got the right sort of shoes. Oh, hey, on the floor. No, it's the wrong sort of floor. Look, you just do one little bit. Nah. You're not have to buy a drink all night. Ah, don't worry, that's great. Okay, I'll oh, go on, oh, Fred. Oh, I'll see you. Come on, on the oh, stairs. I think I can still remember one this old routine. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Yeah, come on, we'll buy the dartboard, you see, and then we can put the spotlight on the other bit. Hello? Oh. It's been a long time, you know. I'll oh, well, bear that in mind, sorry. Right. right. Off you again. <laughs> right, uh, you've got to, got to remember that this is to the tune of Keep Young and Beautiful, right? Right. Right, feet, don't you fail me now, all right? And. <laughs> Keep Young and Beautiful. It's a to be beautiful. Keep Young and Beautiful. If you want to be loved. Young and beautiful is coming back. Oh, 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 <laughs> and it's your role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so look what you just doing crawled up against the ball. Eh? Who's that? See him? A job I would cause all the bother at the disco the other night. Sisley? You reckon he's come looking for us? Oh, suits me, do it? Hey, look, knock it on the head, right? We're all on a plane tomorrow. Wouldn't want any bother. Listen, will somebody tell me what's going on? What do you want? Huh? You come looking for a show, dude? I'll give you ten to ten more bottles, son. I didn't want any trouble, though. Anyway, I'm not looking for you. Are you not? Well, I suggest you piss up and find another watering hole, because after I've had a few more of them, I might just be tempted to pull the front end of your face off. You really have to be so belligerent, us. Look, man, if it wasn't for him, Moxie'd still be getting the spear, remember? Oh, I'm not looking for any trouble, eh? 
I'm looking for a bloke called Dennis Patterson. That's me. Who are you? Martin Cuba. Mr. Fraser said you might be one short for that Spanish job. Oh. <laughs> he's not coming! Sorry, no, he's, no, no, he's not coming! Right. Gone. Shut up! I'll... Shut up! Well, he's not I'll handle it! Well, he's not done! Shut up! Look, if you've had some bother with these two lads, this is not going to work out now, is it? Why not? Why not? Because we're supposed to be a team, man. That's why not. I haven't got a problem. If they've got a problem, that's their problem, mate. Hey, look. I need that job, eh? I'll do me share. I'll see you at the airport. Nothing ever seems to go smoothly for us, lot, does he? Food don't seem so good tonight, you think, Wayne? There's no difference in the food, son. It's our mood that's down the crapper. Well, it's got to be said, uh, this latest development with this Martin guy, I mean, it's took the shine up the trip, it's been about everybody, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, of all the blokes in Newcastle, you yeah. have to pick on him. What? We picked on a lot of people in there. So the odds aren't that outlandish. Hang on it? a minute, hang on a minute. It wasn't me what started that bond. It was that Martin Gadgie, man, hey, it? Hey, 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 what? if you remember, the incident occurred because you tried to get into his old lady's knickers. Oh, you? hey, hold on. I think you all want to point a finger about that, do you, eh? Been dropping the clothes plenty of times by your rampant man, haven't we? Eh? Oh, I never forget, do they, eh? Come on, lads, fair, fair. That Martin's a bonehead banger. And I can't say I fancy working alongside him. Well, me. Moxie! Oh, Moxie! Yeah, you been! I called round your house then, and yeah. uh, your sister said you were all in here. Give me a chair, Sit down, sit down. Uh, yeah, uh, before I do, though, there's uh, just a couple of things I'd like to say, you know. Uh, I've got my passport sorted out, you know, so I can go to Spain, there's no problem there. Fantastic. Ah, right. Right. But, uh, well, I know I've caused you a lot, a lot of aggravation, you know, with all this ducking and diving and that, so, uh, well... Well, if you don't want us to go, you know, I'll understand, and there'll be no hard feelings. No! Get uh, this right. man a drink, he's the guest of honour. Guest of honour, he's the man of the year, for that one. Uh, Another one of you, Paul. Why are you? What have I done? You've turned up, Sam Beam, that's what you've done. <laughs> Isn't it? We're going to tell that Martin right. fellow to really forget it. Oh, I will, I will, I. The Magnificent Seven rides again! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. You came in the nick of time, my son. I'm made up. I mean, you lot don't exactly owe me any favours. Judas, do us a favour, man. A toast! To Moxie! Ah, Moxie. Back Great to have you back, sir. Yeah, cheers. Or is it Brendan? <laughs> it's Francis Fogarty. What? It's what? Francis Fogarty. Francis Fogarty? Don't believe it. Where, <laughs> where did you get Francis Fogarty from? Well, it wasn't my idea, you know. If it was up to me, I'd like to be called Derek. But no Derek died in Kilburn on Tuesday. <laughs> Patterson? Yeah. Party of ten for Swallow 2. Are you all here? Yeah. I will let me have your tickets and your passports. We'll get you checked through. Listen, listen. Do you know why? Because we're going to be sampling all that poultry chew down there. <laughs> there won't be that much of that, man. Tourist season's well finished. There'll be enough, don't you worry. Anyway, with a bit of luck, we'll have sorted something out before we land. Yeah, yeah. Are you trying to tell me, right, that on this charter tour, there ain't going to be a surplus of sales girls, secretaries, hairdressers, they look, eh? I'll tell you what, we're going to be well locked off before we've even landed, son. Check in over here, Mr. Patterson. Hold on, what's all this lot, then? Oh, it's the Spennymoor and District Senior Citizen Society. They go every year. And you were lucky to get those seats. I wouldn't waste any time, Wayne. I'd steam in now. Get it all locked off, son. <laughs> 